What's going on guys? Welcome to Booth Talk. Guys, today we are going to be talking about stripping paint and conditioning metal. Now the thing is, this goes to my brother-in-law's C10 that we're about to actually start working on. You'll see some videos of, uh, of the progress on it actually coming up here in the next few months. Uh, but the thing is, is that we have to take all of this old paint off. Now sometimes, you just, some people won't have the, uh, had the air compressor that they need and won't be able to keep up with what they need. Sometimes you just need more power and using a DA or an old mud buster is just not going to be enough. Maybe media blasting is not in your budget. Okay. But there's another tool that you can use, and it's from the Eastwood Company. Now, they actually released it a couple of years ago, and then immediately got back-ordered, and nobody had any information on it. I've got one. We're going to put it to the test on this. Come on, let me show you. All right, so what we're talking about today is going to be the Contour SCT from Eastwood. Now, the thing about it is that it comes with all these different drums that are equivalent to different grits. So whatever you've got to take off of the car, you know, material-wise, it's more likely going to get it done. Now, we're going to put that to the test because you guys didn't see on the back side of that tailgate. It's pretty rusty. It's pretty rough. So the cool thing is, is that whenever you first take it out, now I just need to get this out of the box, so we're about to be taking it for a spin, but it's it's basically like a buffer, but but a lot heavier in weight. Uh, the entire top half, um, you know, imagine this as the buffer, you know, the, the entire head part is completely different. Um, well made, I'll give it that. It's got the same lock release mechanism that a buffer would. You press that in and it keeps that from uh, from rotating so you can change out the drums. Now we'll be, we'll be going over that here in just a minute as we start changing out the drums, seeing what each one of them can actually do. And we're going to put them to the test. So guys, enough talking from me. Let's go ahead and put it back there and let's just see what it can actually do. All right, everybody. And we're going ahead and starting off with the red scotch uh drum wheel that comes with this. And it became very, very apparent while I was doing this that this drum did not want to actually cut through this old paint job that was on here. That's why you see me doing a little bit of side-to-side -side action with it. So we went ahead and swapped over to the 80 grit drum. We're going to see how that does. Again, trying some side-to-side -side on it because going just a straight pull was not was not wanting to cut it. So trying a couple different techniques. And again, very quickly it became obvious that that was not going to do the trick either for, for this particular application. So uh, here I'm just giving you a quick rundown of how to actually change out the drum. It comes with an Allen head. This is where it actually becomes really fun because this thing here was the one I was wanting to try out. Now by going through and adjusting the speed, it is a variable speed tool. Uh, here I had it almost turned all the way up and it started really taking off the paint very, very quickly, doing it just how I, I would expect the tool to do. Heat is your enemy, so you're definitely going to, going to keep this thing moving. Now, it took a little bit to get used to how to actually use this because of the weight. Uh, again, I'm used to sanding everything, so being able to try it out and just do it here on these big flat panels, it actually did a, uh, did a whole lot of good trying to figure it all out. Now here we're just giving just an overview, just pretty much after I've gotten done with everything else on it. Uh, of course, the inside is all going to have to be stripped out and those letters, but that's that's a uh, job for another day and another tool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, and we're going to go ahead and get started on that rust that's all over the backside here. Again, a little side-to-side -side action just to get into that groove. Big flat areas is really where this tool does a wonderful job. And up, there we go. We got some body filler. Bondo, bondo, bondo. Let's see how deep it goes. All right, guys, so whenever Eastwood contacted me a couple of months ago about doing this product review, I knew there were, there were two things that I could not do. I wasn't going to go after and use their paint guns because, guys, I'm a hardcore SADA guy. I love my SADA spray guns. I will never recommend anything else. That's just me. You guys who follow the podcast and the live stream and hell here on YouTube, you guys know I am very brand loyal and I, I stick with those products who have stuck by me over the years and have never let me down. SADA, 
That's one of them. Another one is DynaBraid. I love DynaBraid tools. Very smooth, very reliable. I couldn't compromise it and go against, uh, go against them either. So there had to have been something in between that I could find and I could use and demo and give a good product review on. And that's whenever I remembered about this Contour SCT and how it was released a couple years ago. And I couldn't find any information on it, like I said at the beginning part of the video. So being able to demo it and having my brother-in-law's uh, tailgate here from a C10 we're going to be working on, it was very cool to put it through its paces and actually see what all the hype was about on it a couple years ago. And I, I wish I had a better review for the Red Scotch Sprite uh, drum for stripping, but I don't. It, uh, it did not want to touch that old paint job. I think that old paint job is probably an old lacquer one and it, it did not want to go. Uh, so I, I changed over to the 80 grit. It didn't want to move it as well. However, the neat thing is, is that I, I knew this drum right here, you know, we've all used those, those thinner discs. They're about half, three quarter inch on an air tool. They're spinning right here in front of your face, you know, on the, the die grinder uh, tool. And, uh, you know, that does a really good job for cleaning and stripping metal. So I knew by this drum right here, it was really going to do what I needed it to do. So I changed out to that one and it really dug into that rust. It cleaned it out. It, it stripped, the, uh, stripped the paint off the surface. Did a really, really good job with that. So I was very, very impressed with this. Not so much with these for this particular application. Now, there are other applications out there. These may do wonderful for. For mine, for the purpose of the demo, I'm, I'm gonna, I've got to be real with you guys. You know, I've got to you know, keep it 100% honest. Wasn't too happy about these. This son of a gun here stripped it, and it stripped it quick. Um, so just real quick, just uh, speaking of the stripping and, and how quick it did it, Understand that whenever you're you have something that's uh, this wide, what is that about four inches? Whenever you got something about that wide, now uh, weighing what this does, spinning at that fast of an RPM, you're going to be creating a lot of heat. Now the heat is going to be the number one thing that I will I will I will caution everybody about, uh, especially with dealing with sheet metal. You know, heat on sheet metal maybe not the greatest thing in the world, especially whenever you're trying not to warp something. Um, so making sure that you're 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 not staying in one spot too long, making sure you're keeping things moving, uh, giving time giving things ample time to cool, all things to consider, all things to uh, put into practice. So every tool has its uh, has its purpose. This thing did a great job on the big flat surfaces. Of course, not so great in the little in the little curves and stuff, but it did a great job for that. And uh, especially for digging out that big old chunk of uh, chunk of bondo that we found. That thing was like three quarter inch thick. Did you see it? Did you see that in the video? Go back and take a look at it if you didn't. Um, but, uh, but guys, if you want to check it out, check out eastwood.com. They have them there. And uh, talk, to, uh, talk to Matt. He's the, uh, he's the guy that I was talking to out there. Tell him that you saw the review on Booth Talk and saw the, uh, the video for it. And uh, give it a try, guys. Hope, uh, hope y'all be well, stay safe. We're going to talk to you next time.